Recent weeks for the Airbus A380 have been immensely busy for more ways than one, with many airlines deciding to return the world's largest passenger plane back to service, or at least making plans for it. Whether this be announcements from Etihad Airways, Lufthansa, or maybe Qantas continuing to return the plane to benefit their operations. Or maybe it potentially centered around the saga currently unfolding, with Emirates and their A380s experiencing problems. However, today it's a story more on the sadder side for all parties involved, with tracking developments showcasing that the very last Airbus A380 with Malaysia Airlines has departed the country and will be headed onwards to France where it will sit in long-term storage. A flight that is effectively known as a ferry flight, but it's not something that is uncommon. However, in aviation, the scene can be primarily described as one of sadder events in the case that the said ferry flight is to the aircraft's resting place, or a location for long-term storage, where the intention is for it to eventually be sold on either for parts, scrapping, or something else in between. It's a signaling of intent that the Airbus A380 has disappeared from Malaysia Airlines for good. With that being said, such a decision to remove the A380s from their operations, as per Malaysia Airlines, doesn't come as a shock to us. The specific units in question are relatively young, especially considering they were removed from service during the early stages of the pandemic. The decision to remove the aircraft comes as Malaysia Airlines were given no alternative but to suspend essential international services during the heat of the pandemic. Under restructuring and finding ways to streamline while making their business profitable, a review did take place. The review encompassed all areas of the business, but it was subsequently determined that removing the series would be the best action. They were moving ahead with a business model that didn't have such a plane as a focal point for long-haul operations. This meant, unfortunately, the A380 would be over with the airline. And to say the least, it's probably a decision that will benefit the airline for the long term. Unfortunately, it is an aircraft that presented many challenges throughout its journey with the carrier. And now finding a way to dispose of the said plane is quickly becoming a priority now that they've moved to long-term storage. While some aircraft were initially stored at Kuala Lumpur International for this long period, they have made their way, as I mentioned, to storage centers around the world, where now the airline will further assess options for the aircraft, whether that be the selling of parts, the scrapping, or something else in between. As we know, though, we can pretty much rule out a secondary market, as the second-hand market for the Airbus A380 is non-existent. Malaysia Airlines ultimately have gone against what we've seen many other Airbus A380 operators do this year, which is bring the plane back into service thanks to additional demand that they are seeing on all fronts. However, it does harp back to one of the key reasons why the A380 wasn't as much of a commercial success as maybe Airbus had hoped. It's an aircraft that only works in certain climates, and for Malaysia Airlines, well, it's a plane that has always presented challenges, and no doubt, while it has featured on essential routes, it was never indeed a perfect fit for them, evident through the short stay, ultimately in comparison to some other aircraft types. It also would be wrong not to mention the effects of the global pandemic, but for Malaysia Airlines and the removal of this aircraft, it did give them that opportunity to evaluate their requirements, needs, and of course, what is surplus to those requirements. In this case, it was the Airbus A380 that was put on the chopping board, and now it is a distant memory in their fleet. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Of course, this is the final week before Christmas, the roll into the new year for those that are celebrating. I wish you a very safe and happy holiday season, whether you're celebrating or not, and hope you enjoy it with friends, family, or loved ones nearby. Thank you for watching and supporting me throughout this year. I will see you next time.